on behalf of Royal British Legion Scotland and Poppy Scotland, may I welcome you here to the Edinburgh Poppy Gardens. It is a visible reminder both of our duty to remember the men, women and children who have died in time of war, especially those remembered by us, but also as Legion and Poppy Scotland to renew our commitment to care for the armed forces community and for all the legionnaires who do their most and their utmost for their local communities. Today we remember Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, our patron throughout her time as monarch. And at this pivotal time, we look to the past, to those who served in time of war and peace, to remember those who died in time of war and to look to the future in hope. Let us ask for God's blessings that we might work for peace, pray in hope and be the reconciling presence which this world and every home and community so desperately needs. And let us dedicate this garden for the space it gives to honour the dead and those who serve their country for the call it gives to remember the frail and precious lives and to honour those whose ultimate price contributed to the freedoms we claim today. So let us begin this service and sing together the hymn, You are before me, Lord, you are behind.
let us pray. Let us confess unto God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, where we have failed to be your hand of peace, where we have failed to be your source of hope, where we have failed to be your blessing of good things in our lives and in the lives of our family and friends help us to be a source of peace and hope and good and let us commit ourselves to pray for the peace of the world far away and close at home in desert and in glen and be that deep well of peace that others will seek and drink from. We hold before you this day the memory of people whom we cherish or whose stories are still told in our families from long ago or those whom we will never know who died in time of war. Loving God as we honour the past May we put our faith and trust into your future. As we dedicate this poppy garden, may it be a place of blessing and peace, a source of imagination and wonder to those who pass by on their way to work or their shopping or their viewing of our city. May people be encouraged to think about the loss and the gift of life that this place and these people commemorated and the people who serve and give of their time here may be honoured and blessed. Amen. A reading. The reading is from Micah 4, verses 1 to 5. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised up above the hills. Peoples shall stream to it and many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples and shall arbitrate between strong nations far away. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more that they shall all sit under their own vines and under their own fig trees, and no one shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. For all the peoples walk, each in the name of its God, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. from Luke chapter 7 Jesus heals a centurion servant after Jesus had finished all his sayings in the hearing of the people he entered Capernaum a centurion there had a slave whom he valued highly and who was ill and close to death when he heard about Jesus he sent some Jewish elders to him asking him to come and heal his slave when they came to Jesus, they appealed to him earnestly, saying, He is worthy of having you do this for him, but he loves our people, and it is he who has built our synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them, but he was not far from the house. The centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have come under my, my roof. Therefore, I did not presume to come to you, but only speak the word and let my servant be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, with soldiers under me, and I say to one, Go, 
and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and the slave does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning to the crowd that followed him, he said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When those who have been sent returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. Amen. We stand here this day in solidarity with the people who served on land, in air and sea, who know what it is to feel the heat of battle and the loss of friends and returning to a different future. We remember the battalions in, with whom we served, the, best, the vessels in which we sailed and the aircraft which flew us to where we were called to be. We remember the battlefields for which no one is alive now to recount their experiences and we stand together in common understanding because we have served. Remember the courage, the comradeship, the ingenuity, the spirit of working together for a common cause, the planning together for a better world that we come with peace. Remember the widows of 60 years or closer to home, the older men and women living now who never knew their fathers. Remember the new widows whose t children still cry for their dads. Remember the love that was lost, the wisdom that was wasted, the minds that were twisted and the limbs distorted. Remember those who survived with hidden wounds and give your support to all those who support them. So let us stand and remember. They shall grow not old, but we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will all remember them.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Let us pray. Let prayers arise for men, women and children who have died in time of war. Service personnel who perished in the horror of battle. Civilians caught in crossfire. Loved ones waiting at home. Let prayers arise for all those caught up today in conflicts around the world. For the speechless tongues of those oppressed. For the weak hands and feeble knees and spirits made lame. And for men and women who live in fear. For children orphaned by war. For wives and husbands unable to protect those they hold dear. Let prayers arise for hope like blooming flowers in a dusty desert, for hope through the darkest night, 
for hope and compassion bursting forth. All these prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. The King. Amen. <coughs> And the people you find it difficult to love today and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> 